So, kind of a joke here, but sponsored by Skynet from Terminator. <laughs> uh -huh. So, may get that joke. So, which company is likely to turn into Skynet the most? Yeah. Who? Yeah. yeah, that's true. Yeah. That is true. They are doing a lot of AI stuff. That's true. That is true. Um, there's my Twitter account, Stixel Dev, if, in case you want to uh, add me on your Twitter account. I'm a web developer, been doing it for 17 years now, and I also started doing freelance. Kind of left my job from the business world and started doing my own stuff, as well as um, teaching some technology, some newer technologies like drone programming, uh, rover programming, and artificial intelligence. How <coughs> picked up on this being available and to check out. I uh, did computer science and MIS at UNO and uh, MBA as well. So here's a couple types of artificial intelligence that don't take this you know, explicitly to be, these are the categories that's kind of subjective. I've seen many different listings, but here's an example of reactive machines. Basically whatever information they have at that point in time, they don't have any past data, but at that point in time they're gonna make a decision the example is like the, the person that was beaten by the computer for chess. You know, at that point in time, they know what they know, and they're going to, you know, they can predict the future, but they're reacting to the, whatever's happening. Uh, same thing with like... Not LSTMs. What's that? Not LSTMs. Oh. LSTMs? Yeah. So here's an example of of a machine solving a Rubik's Cube in under a second. And it's like really hard to even just focus on to it because it does it so fast. Oops. Here, I'll play it again real quick. Like that's just ridiculous fast. A lot faster than a human could do it, right? And I think this is like the slow version. That's the slow <laughs> version. So you can kind of see it working, right? But that's just amazing to me anyway. I think I saw like the Guinness World Records like seven seconds or something. It used to be like twelve. Um, limited memory. So self-driving cars is an example of AI. Uh, that's getting very popular. Maybe you'll see stuff being live in like two years from actually two, being used. Two years. There's some the estimates. GM for... Bolt is going to be on sale next year. On next year, okay. With you know, there's no steering wheel. There's yep. no pedals. So that would be step five: self-driving cars with no controls. A lot of them are doing three and four right now. Level five, right? Yep, yeah. yep, yep. So level five, um, it's pretty crazy just to think about that, but there's gonna be a lot of trust issues. I just read an article today that people are beating up self-driving cars, so. I mean, they're on the road, but they're more beta testing right now. Uh, theory of mind, so like knowing the thoughts and emotions of a person, and then it kind of, self-awareness kind of piggybacks on theory of mind a little bit, where they actually kind of, they're aware of themselves and others, like if someone honks a horn, well they know that the person behind you is mad or, or you need to get out of the way. So think about that a little bit. But those last two are kind of coming up real fast. So, you know, we'll see how the society... Well, we, we may is going to start doing actual tests, I think, in a matter of months. Who's that? Waymo. The Waymo Google no, cell driving car. Oh, okay. With, with Pacificas, Chrysler Pacificas. They're already testing in Arizona. Okay. So here's some applications. You've got your machine learning. Also, it's, there's a subset called deep learning. And a lot of people use that for image recognition. So if I give you, you know, 10,000 pictures of dogs and I categorize them, it now learns what a dog looks like and maybe specific breeds of those dogs if you haven't categorized specifically. Uh, computer vision. And here's a vision, uh, sorry, video of computer vision. So you notice it's like, I'll zoom in a little bit here. It stopped its talking right now. And it turns out it's actually a bicyclist. But there's a, two pedestrians and then it, it sees a person, but then it's like, oh, it's a cyclist. So see how the difference, it needs to know the difference. You know, a cyclist is going to move a lot faster, so it might be a little bit more in danger. Or it's something to watch out for. But that's like object detection with that deep learning. You know, object detection and, and differentiation, human accuracy level is 94.9%. And in 2015, AI reached 96.5%. And now it's almost 
It is pretty so it's, amazing. It's far better than a human. As long as you have enough so data. It's 5% better than humans now. Yeah. As long as you have enough data, that's that's the key is what I've learned over time. You need a lot of data to be more accurate, but think about self-driving cars when you say that too. Are we there yet? Are we past that as far as the accuracy and the accidents? You know, just today we'll, we'll I couldn't get over it because I wanted to get over this way and this person didn't understand that I wanted to get over, but they wanted my lane too. So. Hopefully that stuff gets resolved. You, you know, auto is already doing their, you know, the Uber trucking company, they're already delivering self-driving trucks. They, uh, they buy a lot of Volvos, I know. Yeah. Yeah, Volvo's doing it. It's really hard to keep up all this stuff because there's so many things going on. Uh, then you got pattern recognition, so facial recognition. Natural language processing, like when you talk to Alexa, it, it takes your uh, voice and breaks it down like 25 milliseconds. But it also tries to understand what you're trying to say. How you said it matters. So that's natural language processing. I'm thinking we'll see that more in like maybe websites as well. There is a JavaScript li library that does NLP, just FYI. I actually used it for a hackathon two years ago. Um, let's see here, we got emotions. So think about when you have emotions, you got a couple things going on. You got voice, what words you choose, like you know, using explicit words, for example. Uh, how your standing matters. So think about that, the visual, the posture, as well as the voice and how it analyzes it. Can an AI be more understanding than a person that doesn't have time for that? So a lot of applications ready to roll here in the next few years. Uh, we're going to talk a little about IBM Watson and IBM Cloud. So Watson beat these two really smart guys in Jeopardy. Um, but that so was like, six, seven years ago. Yeah, and that's the crazy part, right? And things have been way more improving. Better you know, at that parts time, training. Watson was room size. Now it's a couple of pizza boxes. Yeah. Oh, pizza. You remind us of pizza. <laughs> <laughs> the size of pizza boxes. <laughs> <laughs> so here's a couple of things that IBM Cloud can offer. The bold one on top, personality insights. That's what I'll be using from JavaScript. I'll be calling that through Node on the server side. Uh, but they also have things like speech to text. We talked about NLP already, visual recognition. Uh, translation, translations have been there quite a while, but it, it is a service. Voice analyzer, we kind of talked about that as well. And I think lots of discovery might have been more the Jeopardy approach with the data. So here's a little bit about personality insights. Um, I read this as kind of creepy in my opinion, but predict personality characteristics, needs, and values through written text. So what you're putting out there in the public Always be aware, you know. Anybody can take that data if there's an API that's available and do whatever, you know, profile you or know more about you. And when I get the response back, there's kind of four sections here consumption preferences, like do you care about safety in cars? What's your needs, personality, and your values? And we'll kind of see some examples of that when I show the demo part. So the Twitter APIs has the account feed, so like the RSS feed that you kind of see in someone's homepage. That's what I'm grabbing for the source, for the source to send to Watson. But you can also search by tags, uh, how engaged they are on Twitter. You can send messages and embed tweets to a website. And, uh, there's a lot more than that, but those are the ones I thought was most useful to see. On a high-level process, you have to register for both APIs on IBM and Twitter. It's, IBM's a paid service. You get so many free, but after that you start paying, uh, I think it's a few cents, like uh, two cents or something at some point in range. And then call Twitter for posts, call personality with the words I get from Twitter, and that gets me back what we just kind of talked about with those four categories. And then I use Ember.js to display the data on the web app. So is there any questions, comments, concerns before the demo? Or just kind of all, yes? Um, so just kind of like artificial intelligence in general, is it like just kind of going from ground up? Are you basically like cashing in um, like new experiences that the AI is facing in memory and then like basically the, mem basically the AI has a collection of things to kind of <coughs> resort to, like for example with the Rubik's Cube or like playing chess, it just kind of... Um, that's I'm just trying to think of it in terms of like right. a development perspective. And is, is, it, is that basically an interaction? It's like a server or database interaction, and that's how the AI knows what to do? 
and it, it's kind of hard to answer because there's a lot of different scenarios, but like you look at that chess one, it's pretty squared in, you write it once, it's done. And then you have this whole big like visual recognition training the dogs. Here's a bunch of images, and then you're sitting there depending, you know, one hour to, I've seen 200,000 pictures. There's a thing like a 100 gig um, collection of pictures that you can get, I think it's Google Net or something. And it's got a thousand categories, and that includes like breeds of dogs and everything like that. And that took our class to train like a day and a half. And then you take that model, then you run images through that model that ends up being the, the image classification. And then you're talking about self-learning, so that'd be a different category. I haven't played with anything with that, but you know, that would be true AI in my opinion, where there's self-learning with new data always coming in. You know, you ever see a short circuit back in the day? Like Johnny Number yeah. 5? That was cool stuff. But you know, need more input? That would be like the self-learning stuff. And I'm sure there's stuff I got there too, I just haven't played with it. Does that kind of help? Yeah, it kind of, like when you say self-learning, it kind of sounds like um, you're like forcing itself to like, run all kinds of trials, and then from there it just kind of makes its own experiences, if that makes sense, or like own trials, so to speak. It becomes a trial for you in that second category I talked about with the big bunch of data. <laughs> like here's one one time big pass of data, and you could probably always add stuff later, but uh, it becomes kind of a, a you know learning experience too, because this stuff is kind of new, relatively new still, and things are coming out, and faster video cards and all that, which is helping a lot. You need a really good video card for like uh, the deep learning stuff. For the, it's just a lot good better GPU. for it. Yep. So that's why the prices went up along with uh, the mining. Those are two reasons why. Yep. <laughs> you know, AlphaGo Zero was self-taught. There was no external. There was no human training. Yeah, that's like the number one runner, isn't it, of the AI? How how, how long does that stand? Like, kind of like almost like a human. Somewhere around four foot or some three foot. I don't but, think it yeah. has general intelligence, but it has. They 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 no. trained it on chess, and I think a very short period of time, it was able to beat the last thirty year reigning champion chess game. Yeah, it's like crazy. That. It's crazy. Yeah, it is. Yeah, things are moving so fast; it's hard to keep up, especially if you're in like multiple avenues of technology. So, is there any other questions? Clear as mud. I know. I try to give you like high level as I can without going crazy deep. So. so like I said, this was written in Ember JS uh, framework. What, what's up? What's up? You, this one? Is that funny? Here, I'll hit search for your picture. There. Hold on. So I have a cache. If whenever it grabs one, I cache it into a file on the node side. Um, but anybody that wants to volunteer or even check after, it's fine. You guys can just come up here and after the presentation and check if you're curious what yours says. But keep in mind, this is your persona online and not maybe necessarily directly towards your offline experience, right? On how your personality runs. But there's only 2,000 words, so uh, Twitter API is limited to 200 posts. So yeah, a lot of emoticons, right? <laughs> So I don't know if um, I've been called smart enough to recognize that, but that would be interesting to know. Um, but 2,000 words is not a lot. Keep that in mind. I said you need a lot of data to get more accuracy, whether training as well as like input, what you're dealing with, depending on what you're doing. But here is, I just wanted to show you like, okay, so here's what 2,000 words look like and a lot of emoticons. So very emotional. Here, I'll zoom in a little bit here for you. Very emotional, intellect's not so great, you know, maybe you guess that, I don't know, so depends who you are. But, but think about that, you got your emotion, artistic, authority challenging, imagination, adventurous. And this is just based on 2,000 words, and you kind of wonder what's the accuracy, but, you know, it's interesting, would you rather have this or nothing, so think about that. And also think about marketing potentials, like targeting people that are certain intelligence, or maybe less intelligence, obviously, but all this stuff might matter specifically to your product. Your product might tailor, or maybe you could go backwards and say, my product has this certain people, and then you target that one by your research, right? 
extroversion, cheerfulness, outgoing, assertiveness. Modesty. <laughs> yeah, that's interesting, right? You'll, you'll see a couple outliers, you're like, well, but you know, this is based upon what they post on there. And like with mine, it's like a lot of my stuff is retweets, so it's not even like my personality, it's somebody else's altogether, like a whole one put together, aggregated. Sympathy, 50%, trust, 40 So if you just keep looking at these, I mean, there's some interesting things that, you know, from 2,000 words that's doing its best trying to figure out out of 100. This is, by the way, this is a percentage out of 100. I should have said that first part. So it's it's probably leaving off like a bunch of different keys off of this chart, right? Are, are these all the all the... Uh different types of classifications that they do? This is, this is what's available in the response. There's okay. one section I'll go over that I didn't have time to like make a UI version of it, but we can kind of look at uh, the JSON response to kind of get an idea. But ideal, love, harmony, and stuff like It's like, kind of like the Myra Briggs or anything like that, where it's, it's really profiling you, which is kind of scary in a sense. If, if this is, gets more accurate over time, what can people use that for? You guys talked about Skynet and stuff. So it's what you do with the data that matters. Let's see here. And then values, conservation, self-enhancement. And then consumption preferences was the one I did get done. So let me jump into over here. Just do a quick show also what's available. And these consumption preferences, they do a 0, 0.5 or a 1 is what I see. And it's not like 100% scale. It's either on, off, or kind of in the middle on, uh, look at this, shopping, health. I'll zoom in for you. Shopping, health, environmental, entrepreneurship, movie, music, reading, volunteering. So like, for example, we'll just play music here. And what... And here's a rap category here. Likely to like rap music, one. <laughs> so sell this person rap is what it's saying. You know, the accuracy is a different, you know, discussion, but assuming it's accurate, sell this person rap music. So just a lot of interesting stuff. I kind of, you know, it's what you make of it well, as an entrepreneur. Show us country and R&B for her, if you would. Sure. <laughs> Next two. I mean, we can, we can do it. So classical zero. Music Rock Zero, Halfway for Latin, Experience Playing Music, Zero, <laughs> live, live Concerts, Zero, Hip Hop Music, One, R&B, One, Oops. Country Music, One. Ooh. So like I said, it's a small subset of data, but imagine if I didn't have a limit on the, on the Twitter and I had her entire history. And she's likely more one, she's probably a better example than most people because like, I'm posting techie stuff, right? I'm not saying, oh man, I had a bad day today, oh no. <laughs> like my tweet, you know? <laughs> so, <laughs> like my tweet would probably get some very responsive bar graphs, right? Using that kind of language where it's all about me, right? So just think about that. Maybe that's something you guys can use in your everyday work or even ideas that you have at home. Yeah. So, did IBM give you this logic, the converting the numbers? Yes. Oh, so, so IBM I call Twitter. That logic, that algorithm. Two thousand words, black box, all the way to the IBM cloud. They call it, okay. or Blue Mix, maybe or Blue Mix, used to be called that. And I just get back the. You're actually looking at the response I get right here for just consumption preferences. This is the JSON. So you're just reading that raw text, right? Just that. Yes. Of String text. of words. Yeah. There's no context, it's just a string of words. So what words do you use? You know, do you use really intelligent words, or big words, small words? So, yeah, I, I wish I knew more about the black box because that would be interesting, right? But just know that this exists and, and things like this are happening all over and it's moving fast. Um, did you use libraries for the IBM stuff or is it just a REST API and you just hit it? It's just a REST API. So they both have SDKs for Node. It, it, I mean, it was simple. I went around, we talked about NPM and stuff, like GitHub just like, you know, four choices of just what I wanted to do. 
I started checking, I'm like, ah, nah, this doesn't want to want, or it's old or not updated. I was doing it myself, and it wasn't that bad. Page of code. Okay. I did some core stuff for the, you know, <laughs> what you were dealing with up there, for the header stuff. Um, but I mean, it really wasn't that bad. Most of the code was like massaging the data how I wanted it to go to Ember. And I, I guess I can show that. It's not a big deal. And then I think a good part of it is there's a display. The, there it is. So above it's all my like secret passwords and stuff, like four lines here, four lines there, like token, <laughs> secret, da da da. But um, yeah, I mean, it, it really wasn't that bad. And, and don't judge my code, please. Because <laughs> I wrote this like the main thing in the afternoon and some massages, so probably full day for the server, maybe day, day and a half for the ember part, because it's just, you know, stacking up the whole big rich framework to go out and getting components and all the stuff around it looks. So, I mean, I'm just like, get the Twitter handle out of the request up here. Not a big deal. And then I'm writing the files. Like, does this file exist because I'm caching the files? Because I don't want to like hit that limit. <laughs> I don't want to pay for it. I guess I'm cheap. I guess, but um, so if the file's cached, is this like six lines right here? And then down below is the fetching. And then here's the massaging for the account info. I'm putting the account info from Twitter into the major payload. But I mean, look at this right here. I did some like four lines of security stuff. Did the cores. It was a big chunk, but I just took it from somewhere else. Here's the, the params that I want. Count 200, I think that's the max. And that's it though, right? That's just for the Twitter. I mean, it's not bad at all. Um, Node's pretty quick, I would say. I like it. I haven't had too much experience with Node, but I'm more and more I'm liking it. And then here's the Watson stuff. So I'm just giving the big chunk of data, the Twitter data that I, that I kind of mushed together. And that's it. I really got the request here. And the SDK did all the work for me, really. That was the beauty of it all. I don't know if they have a Go SDK. <laughs> yeah, I'm still there, but, but they did have, I think they had a few couple, I wasn't sure. I just wrapped it with Go.js. Boom. <laughs> Workarounds, love it. But uh, yeah, I mean, not bad at all, right? Uh, I used Express for doing the server so I could call it from Ember. And that was it. So. I mean, I, I know I said a page, but I mean, a lot of this is like fluff, and depending on how strict you are, like, was, there's the core stuff right there. I could have just went with like three lines on that. <laughs> I'm like, hey, it looks good. I'll take it. I was doing this today. So, go, go, go. So, in the conversation before, you said you were going to show us what Trump looks like. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, anyone's that? Yeah, you want to... Um, Sorry if we get off of tech subjects. No, I'm pretty much done, so you guys well, take control. Well, yeah, so yeah. They, they say that he uses his vocabulary, his fourth grade level. Does he tell you vocabulary level, too? Well, you're not going like, <laughs> to... you got to select box. Well, well, here's, your, here's your fourth grade. That's why I disagree. So yeah, we had we had a debate about the intellect of you it all. Um, I saw these results already, and yes. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, like I said, we don't really know what they're doing in the black box, but it's 98. Whoa! But should, <laughs> hey, should, we look, should we look at your boyfriends? Should we look at your boyfriends right now? <laughs> you got some That's the left. highest. That intellect is the highest of any of the ones I looked at when you were no, letting no, me no. play with. No, no, no. Well, Elon Musk is 99. To give you an idea. So no, it might not all you know, be Trump's uh, tweets are not his tweets because then he has a whole staff that does this. And then that's why so you have to too. pick out his uh, yeah. true tweets, <laughs> separate them from you know his yeah, staff doing yeah, the yeah, tweets. Like, I'm very smart. So you got to separate those. It's out. true. This is all stuff you have to think about as an analyzer of this data, right? Yeah. Let's like, see if I'm dumber than Trump. Who do you want? I am. Have me in there. What, I'm oh, like 30 okay. points dumber than him. <laughs> No, but you're not 30 points dumber than him. <laughs> <laughs> the whole White House, 30 percent. No, but it's the whole White House staff. <laughs> yeah. You know, the tweet. Yeah. You need to write smarter tweets. Is all we're seeing. You, you have to pick out the ones he does early morning. <laughs> yeah. So 2,500 words, not a lot. Unadulterated. Ah, <laughs> oh, dang it. It doesn't matter. You're only 10 points dumber. But if you're like, think about this. If you're retweeting other people's 
You need to retweet smart people yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what you, you need know, to do. do. I need to save on Elon Trump's Musk speech. But 88 is actually pretty good from what I've seen. So. Can, can you do the same for his actual like press conferences where he's talking? I just know, need a group of words. Yeah. And then you throw it in the node. Yeah, like, just that's get it. some transcripts of his speeches and throw them in there. Yeah, but not his prepared speech. Oh, like his press conference. His yeah. press, you know, you all, when he's just talking. Oh, yeah. But that's not his stuff because either. So. His interviews when he's interviewed. You know, yeah, he has to memorize answers. You're, but you're 22% robot, or no, I'm sorry, human. <laughs> yeah. The rest is robot. 78% robot. But like, that so. <laughs> well, let's do a real person. Well, that was that was Zach. <laughs> that was Zach. Wait a minute. This are you calling Zach not real? Uh, you are artificial intelligence, sir. But like for me, I have I'm I'm three percent human. I'm ninety seven percent robot. You know, like you know that might be true. Uh, Eighty percent alive, but well. But I, I was a little smarter. A How many ago. tweets do you have? I don't have that many. I mean, if you look at my words, it's sixteen hundred. A lot of them have like two thousand or more from two hundred posts. Oh, okay. The thing but, is, he can. Twitter will only give him 200 tweets for any one. Yeah, 200 posts. Yeah. Oh, because yeah. the, that, that's the only. One. So like, you you got to pay to, pay to, to wrap up, or, I guess. I don't yeah. know. Oh no, I thought you were done. I mean, whenever you guys want to be done, it can be done. But if you find it fun, that's cool too. 2,000 words with Elon Musk, and 99 intellect, 99 percent. He's the same amount of robot as you. That's what I say. <laughs> <laughs> If I could be like one percent. So can this can right. this uh, separate out uh, bots from real people? No, I don't. I don't think it would. I mean, it's just okay. a group of words. But that's another thing of AI is like chatbots. Think about that. But imagine if they could like analyze what you're saying to them and is this person being emotional or what. That's important that from a customer's perspective, as well as customer service. So and, I mean, if you guys just give me one, I'll. Uh, I'll put whoever on there, or if you want to try your own, or do this after. Otherwise, we can be done. And There's pizza after back there. Maybe we should wrap I, up so we can, looks like pizza's here. We can get pizza and hang out for a little bit here. Yeah, and we can you play with this while you're eating pizza too. No big deal. So, cool. All right, but, thanks, Tim. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.